Hi, this is Andy Armacost, and it's great to be here in Grand Forks at long last. And right now, uh, Kathy and I are just enjoying our time getting settled and looking forward to seeing each and every one of you out and about on the UND campus. The campus in general is peaceful and quiet, but activity levels are picking up. As you might know, our aviation students have resumed their flight training, and our student athletes have returned to campus in, in fairly large numbers to, to begin individualized workouts. And later in the summer, they'll of course begin their preparations uh, with practices to get ready for the upcoming seasons. But in August, things are really going to pick up with more than 15,000 people returning to the campus, students, faculty, and staff. And as we come together from across the state, from across the region and across the nation, I wanna make sure that we focus on keeping each other safe with regards to COVID-19. And you'll recall the key precepts of how we do that include physical distancing, face coverings, personal hygiene and hand washing, and also a focus on testing. And so let me give you a quick comment on face coverings. This has been the topic of much discussion on campus over the last few weeks. We have posted on our COVID blog information that describes when face coverings will be required on campus. And the short of it is that when you're engaging other people, we will have a requirement to wear a face covering. But check out all the details on the posted document. And then with respect to testing, let me offer my deep thanks to Josh Wynn, who's been working at the state level to make sure that testing will happen on campus. Our ability to test everyone, students, faculty, and staff, will be a critical component of combating COVID-19. Testing will be on a voluntary basis, but again, in the spirit of keeping each other safe and to, to better understand the direction of the virus on our campus, we urge you to take advantage of these testing opportunities. And let me end this quick video with a quick update on a topic that I raised in an earlier video, and that is our diversity and inclusion task force. The vice presidents and I are working with elected leaders across the campus, in particular from the University Senate, the Staff Senate, and student governor to identify persons to serve on this important task force and also to work on refining the charter that describes the work that the task force will do. You know, the people that we work with on campus and that we go to school with deserve our utmost respect. And I'll do my very best to continue highlighting opportunities for all of us to better understand the diverse cultures and backgrounds of the members of our campus community. I wish you a good weekend, and I look forward to seeing you here on campus in August, if not sooner. And always remember that together, we are one.